dividend investing is a great way to achieve financial freedom. With regular dividend stocks, it may take you decades to get there. In today's market, we can combine different investment vehicles to build a diverse portfolio for generating great passive income. With these investments, you may retire faster than you think. In this video, we are going to explore three simple methods to earn passive income in the stock market. At the end, we will build a portfolio to make the most out of all three strategies. Let's get started. First, let's check out dividend stocks. Dividend stocks are the companies that regularly pay a portion of their profits to stockholders. These payouts can happen monthly, quarterly, or annually. In the US stock market, most of the stocks are paying dividends. But not all companies are good choices for your investment portfolio. We should examine the sustainability, dividend yield, compound annual growth, known as CAGR, to evaluate if a company is suitable for your portfolio. Among all dividend stocks, blue chip stocks are great candidates to collect dividends from. A blue chip stock is a large and well established company with healthy financial reports for a long time. These companies are usually ranked the first or second place in the industry, so you know they are reliable. They have a large market cap and low volatility. These stocks may not necessarily pay the most dividends, but they can be the foundation of your investment portfolio. For instance, Coca-Cola has a dividend yield of 3.08%. This is not a very attractive number. In fact, Coca-Cola started paying dividends in 1893. The company has increased its dividend payout for 61 consecutive years. In the past 10 years, the company has an impressive CAGR of 5.09% in dividend. Moreover, Coca-Cola has strong consumer demand despite rising prices in 2022 due to inflation. Blue chip stocks like Johnson & Johnson and McDonald's are all great candidates for your portfolio as well. Let's see how much you need to invest in Coca-Cola to receive $3,000 per month. The stock is currently paying out a dividend of $1.84 per share. In a year, our dividend payment is $36,000. $36,000 divided by $1.84 per share would give us 19,565 shares we would need. Each share is $59.67. So, $59.67 multiplied by 19,565 shares would give us $1,167,444. Obviously, $1.1 million is not easy to achieve. So, this method does not make us live off dividend fast. Let's see what else can pay us more dividends. Next, let's see what REITs offer. REITs are known as real estate investment trusts. It is similar to investing in dividend stocks, but here is the difference. Instead of personally managing properties and dealing with tenants, the real estate companies take on the responsibilities for you. These companies invest in and oversee income generating properties such as apartments, hotels, shopping malls, and warehouses. Some of them are publicly traded, allowing you to purchase shares just like any other stocks. One distinctive feature of these companies is that they are required to distribute 90% of their taxable income to shareholders in the form of dividends. This means you can be a small landlord with an investment as little as $1 without the hassle of handling upset tenants or searching the cost-effective construction team for property maintenance. Moreover, REITs typically offer higher dividends compared to blue-chip stocks. On average, Investors receive a 10.6% return by investing in REITs. Realty Income, Apollo Commercial, and Arbor Realty Trust are some of the best REITs out there. For a $3,000 dividend per month, let's see how much we should invest in Omega Healthcare. The dividend yield is 8.82%. To receive $3,000 per month means we need $36,000 per year. Each share pays $2.68 in dividend, so $36,000 divided by $2.68 would give us 13,433 shares. Each share is $30.38 at the moment. 
So multiplying by 13,433 shares would give us $408,095. This sounds like a much better deal than owning over $1 million of Coca-Cola. However, REITs and blue chip stocks are different kinds of investments, so the risks are not the same. A well diverse portfolio should have more than one investment. At the end of the video, we will evaluate a diverse portfolio to see how much you need to invest for a reliable $3,000 dividend per month. Is there an investment vehicle better than REITs? Yes. Let's take a look at the covered call ETFs. Investing in covered call ETFs provides much higher dividend yields compared to blue chip stocks and REITs. Fund managers are executing covered calls for investors. As investors, we benefit from both stock appreciation and dividends. Stock appreciation is straightforward. It refers to increase in share price, or also known as capital gain. The dividend is coming from the fund manager writing call options on stocks within the ETF. When the fund manager sells call options, the ETF receives a payment known as premium. This premium is then distributed to investors as dividends, which largely increase the dividend yield of owning covered call ETFs. That's why the dividend yield is much higher than investing in blue chip stocks or REITs. When the market goes sideways or slowly heading up, it is the best time to own it. Some of the well-known covered call ETFs are QYLD, RYLD, and XYLD. Let's see how much we should invest in RYLD to earn $3,000 per month. RYLD is currently paying $2.14 per share as dividend, and the dividend yield is 12.67%. A year of dividend is $36,000. So, we would need 16,822 shares of RYLD. Then, multiplying by $16.48 per share would give us $277,227. This amount is about a third of what we need to invest in Coca-Cola, and it is significantly lower than investing in Omega Healthcare. Does it mean covered call ETFs are better than blue chip stocks and REITs? Usually, higher return comes with higher risks. There are risks that apply to covered call ETFs. In a bull market, this strategy could make your investment lose significant capital gains. When the stock price goes above the call option strike price, then the ETF may need to sell the stocks. With that, the ETF cannot earn any further capital gains from stock appreciation. Now, let's build a well-diversified dividend portfolio from each category. For blue chip stock, we pick 3M Company, a company manufacturing a variety of products like adhesives, building materials, and medical supplies. Ticker symbol MMM. The current dividend yield is 5.81%. For REITs, we pick Arbor Realty Trust, a company that invests in single-family, multifamily, and commercial real estate. Ticker symbol ABR. The current dividend yield is 10.74%. Finally, we have Credit Suisse x Links Crude Oil Shares Covered Call ETN ticker symbol USOI, an ETF that does covered calls on reference oil shares. The current dividend yield is 26.14%. Now let's see how much we should invest to receive $3,000 per month. USOI is more risky compared to 3M and Arbor Realty. So we will invest 20% of the fund into USOI, 40% into 3M, and 40% into Arbor Realty. Here is the calculation. We are multiplying each dividend yield by the corresponding percentage. Then, we add them up to 11.81%. We need to get paid $3,000 per month, which is $36,000 per year. Using this amount divided by 11.81% would give us $303,849. In this example, we can see what a well-diversified portfolio looks like. We need to use a low-risk blue-chip stock to build the foundation. Then we can add a moderate-risk REIT to increase the dividend yield. At the end, we need a high-risk covered-call ETF to increase the payout. 
If we can increase the fund to invest in blue chip stocks and decrease the investment in high risk covered call ETFs, the portfolio would be more stable. Of course, the initial investment could be bigger. Before investing in blue chip stocks, REITs, or covered call ETFs, make sure to understand the risk behind each investment vehicle so you can build a portfolio that fits your unique situation. With enough hard work, patience, and discipline, you are on your way to financial independence. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more helpful tips like this. See you in the next video.